Clark and uh, Lieutenant Stephen McCann to present some of the words to our wonderful police officers. Good evening, Madam Chairman, members of the board. On behalf of the men and women of our police department, your police department, we'd like to thank you for giving us an opportunity to present our annual awards at your supervisor's meeting. It's been a busy year for us this past six months especially. We've had a number of changes in the department, as you are quite aware. Um, in October, uh, Sergeant Stephen McComp was promoted to the rank of lieutenant. He is now acting as the second in command in the police department, as well as the, op uh, the operations officer, the executive officer of the department. In November, we had another promotion. We promoted Corporal Dave Egan to the rank of sergeant to fill Sergeant uh, Lieutenant McComp's position. And then in December, we promoted uh, Officer Mike Decker to the rank of uh, Corporal to fill uh, Corporal Egan's promotional spot. So we've had a very busy year, a very active year. We're very fortunate this year. We've been um, selected as one of the 14 safest communities in the state of Pennsylvania, which is a great acknowledgement to the fine work that our officers do every day. Now tonight, we're just going to show you a few of the awards that they've done. Our officers do an outstanding job, as you know, every year. I am so proud to be able to stand here and be with them tonight. So at this, I'm going to turn it over to Lieutenant Kauf, and he's going to do the presentations. Good evening. Officer Janine. On July 27, 2013, at approximately 2046 hours, officers responded to the Rich Burson at their station for a report of a DUI. Upon arrival to the scene, the suspect was found inside his vehicle, which was on fire, and parked near the fuel pumps. Officer Janini attempted to arouse the unresponsive driver while he attempted to gain entry into the locked, burning vehicle. The intoxicated driver finally unlocked the vehicle, allowing Officer Janini to remove him from the car. Officer White entered the burning vehicle to place the transmission into neutral so it could be pushed away from the pumps to reduce the risk of fire spreading to the pumps. Officer Jumper extinguished the fire with a fire extinguisher. The Northampton Township Fire Department also responded to the scene and secured it. Officer Janini is awarded the commendation for heroism for risking his own personal safety by placing himself in great danger to save a life, the subject that was in the vehicle. Officer Janine. and it's going to be Corporal Colley and Officer Love and Officer Kent. On March 19, 2013, approximately 0125 hours, officers responded to Beacon Hill Drive in Holland for a condominium fire. Corporal Colley and Officer Love were first on scene and located the fire in Unit 816, which was engulfed in flames. Officers located the resident inside the burning <coughs> unit. He refused to leave. This forced the officers to grab the homeowner and get him out of the unit before the spreading flames made it impossible to escape. Officers Cork, Kinney, and Weirman began a coordinated evacuation of the residents and the rest of the building. Most of the residents were awakened by police officers due to the time of day. Officers assisted a resident in a wheelchair as well as one that had difficulty walking and did not hear the building, did not clear the building until they were certain that everybody was out. The Northampton Fire Department, Newtown, and Upper Southampton Fire Departments responded and successfully extinguished the fire. Newtown Ambulance also responded and assisted the displaced residents. Officer Cully. Officer Cully is awarded the commendation for heroism for risking his own personal safety by placing himself in danger in order to save a life. Thank you. 
Nasrullah is awarded the commendation for heroism for risking his own personal safety by placing himself in danger in order to save a life. Commendation for outstanding service during the evacuation of the building. On June 16, 2013, at approximately 0826 hours, officers responded to a report of a fire at a construction site for Giuseppe's Restaurant on Alms House Road. Heavy black smoke was found billowing from the building, and numerous workers were trapped on the roof. Officers Martin and Robertson realized that they could not wait for further assistance due to the intensifying fire, as well as knowing at least one person was already injured. The officers were able to move a construction ladder to the back side of the building so the trap workers could self-evacuate before sustaining further injuries. The Northampton Township Fire Department responded and successfully extinguished the fire. The quick actions of officers Robertson and Martin under difficult and dangerous circumstances prevented further injuries to the workers. For that, Officer Robertson is awarded the letter of commendation. On April 18, 2013, approximately 17.45 hours, Kenneth Phillip shot and killed his ex-wife and wounded his stepdaughter on Bustle's Pike in Lower Southampton Township while the two victims were seated inside their car. A description of the suspect in the vehicle was broadcast over police radio. A short time later, Officer Friel observed the murder suspect's vehicle on Old Bristol Road. He notified police dispatch and began following the vehicle. When the suspect was passing Pheasant Valley Shopping Center on Buck Road and Hollow, he abruptly stopped his vehicle, exited the car, and fired his shotgun multiple times at Officer Friel. Officer Friel was struck in the chest, but was saved from seriously bodily injury because he was wearing a bulletproof vest. After he was shot and his patrol car unit damaged from gunfire, he continued to engage the suspect and finally killed his assailant. Officer Friel's brave action under hostile fire demonstrates his commitment to his profession, the police department, and the community. For his extraordinary act of courage under dangerous situations and conditions, without regard to his personal safety, Officer Friel is awarded our department's highest honor, the Commendation for Valor. This is just a small fraction of what they do every day out there, uh, protecting our residents, and we're quite proud of it. Uh, the next award we're going to present is, is an award that started in 1995 on the Chief Fellow, and it's the Officer of the Year Award. This award is it's unique in its own nature because it's actually selected by the officers in the police department. Uh, they vote, and they look at what their selection process is going to be on. It's 
our core values, honor, integrity, courage, respect. Um, and that's what we base it on. And I'm very proud this year to say that this year's recipient of the Officer of the Year is Officer Timothy Field. Thank you for giving us the time to, to do this small honoring service for the uh, our officers and the great work they're doing on a daily basis. Thank you very much. Thank you.